Hello, my name is Cole Chamberlain. Today I will be demonstrating some features of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4.0 Advanced Find Tool. The Advanced Find Tool in Microsoft Dynamics CRM has some useful and powerful capabilities. It allows CRM end users to find data within the CRM system that it would otherwise likely need support staff to locate. In this tutorial, I will be giving step-by-step -step instructions for using Advanced Find in Microsoft CRM. One of the most helpful tools for getting visibility to CRM data is Advanced Find. It enables users to query deep within the CRM system using custom filters to retrieve data that would often otherwise be impossible to get at without using code or SQL queries. What can you do with Advanced Find? With Advanced Find, users can easily query on system and custom entities, such as accounts and contacts, and system objects, such as workflows, templates, and roles. Additionally, when working with Advanced Find, users can perform a variety of actions to get the data they want, including selecting specific columns, selecting the sort column and sort order, and adding grouping options. Through Advanced Find, users can modify system views and create new views, export results to Excel, perform mail merges, create quick campaigns, run duplicate detection jobs on the resultant record set, and send direct email to the resultant record set. Advanced Find can also be used to perform other various CRM actions such as merging, reporting, printing, assignment, and changing the status of one or more matching records. Now I'll be showing how to access the Advanced Find tool from the various Microsoft CRM clients and versions. In Outlook 2007, with the Microsoft CRM Outlook client installed, Advanced Find is accessible via the top navigation area. In Outlook 2010's client, Advanced Find is found in the More drop-down of the CRM ribbon group. In the CRM 4.0 web client, there's a navigation bar across the top that contains the Advanced Find button. And in the CRM 2011 web client, Advanced Find is in the rightmost position of the ribbon. Now that we know where the Advanced Find tool is located, let's run through an example of its usage. All viewable entities in Microsoft CRM have a set of views which are basically saved filters for showing specific sets of data. Views are great and allow us to quickly and easily navigate between My Active Accounts, Active Accounts, and inactive accounts at the click of a button. Views work similarly with other entities. We can modify view filters and create new views through the Advanced Find tool. This is the Advanced Find tool interface. It is the same interface whether you're in the web client or the Outlook client. When you first enter the Advanced Find tool, it will default to showing the view and associated filters that were selected in the Microsoft CRM application. From here we can change the Save View drop-down and view the filters that are in place. For example, we can see that Inactive Accounts is set to find accounts with status inactive. If you change the view to My Active Accounts, we can see that the filters are now looking for accounts with the status of active who are owned by me. Right now we are going to create a new view that will show us all accounts whose main phone number is in the 949 area code. Under the entity dropdown we have accounts selected. If we wanted to look at a different type of record we would select another here, but account is what we want to work with so we will leave that. To create a new view, we will select New from the Save View drop-down. This has given us a blank set of filters, so if I click the Find button right now, we will see all accounts unfiltered.
Now I'll go back to the query so I can set up my filters. Here we can click the field that says select and navigate to the attribute that we need to filter against. In this case we will select main phone. Now we will get a new drop down where we can specify the operator. Since we want the phone number to start with 949, we will select begins with from this list. Next we can enter some text in the field to the right of the operator and we have created a filter. I'm going to enter 949 so we can filter by this area code. If we click find, we can see we have three accounts in CRM that have a main phone number beginning with 949. We can double click these records to drill into the account form. If I go back to the query, I can now save this new set of filters as a view. To do this, click save at the top of the window and specify a name. I'm going to call this view Orange County Telephone Numbers. I'll now close the window and we can see that our saved view is accessible via the views drop down when looking at the account entity. Now that we've set up our new view, we find that it's not capturing all of the accounts with phone numbers in the Orange County area. We decide we need to modify our view filters. We can use the Advanced Find tool to accomplish this as well. When we open up the Advanced Find tool again, we can see that it's going to default to our new view. This is because it was the view that was selected in the Microsoft CRM application. If I click the Show Details button, this is going to make our filter criteria editable. I'm going to now add additional filters to include accounts in the 714 and 562 area codes. Much like before, I will select the drop down on the new row and navigate to main phone to set up my filters. After entering in each row, a new row spawns below it allowing us to enter in further criteria. These criteria are going to default to an AND search, meaning that the current view is going to try and grab accounts that have an area code of 949, 714, and 562, and this is impossible. If we click Find, we can see that no results are returned, and that makes sense. Going back to the query, we can click the arrows next to each filter criteria to select their row. After selecting all the rows we'd like to group, we can click the Group or button in the top menu to make the view locate accounts in the 949, 714, or 562 area codes. When we click Find, we see this has brought in a couple of additional accounts. If we go back to the query now, we can save our view. And when we close this, if we refresh this window and choose our view, we can see that the update has taken place. Next, we will add an additional filter to our view to get accounts that are vendors in the Orange County area and save this as a new view. Again, we open up